Hey there, it's Steve from Kenny's Cook, and today we have two simple variations on a Kenny celebration staple, Death by Chocolate. We're following the box instructions on this one, so if you use a different pudding or cake mix, your ingredients needed will vary. We're going to start things off by greasing and cocoa dusting three pans. You can use flour instead of cocoa powder, but we were feeling a bit adventurous and wanted to change the color of the grout on the counter anyways. The entire purpose of this step is to try to please the baking gods by sacrificing your time and energy. In return, they'll allow for a clean release of the cake. That being said, it's best to make sure you coat the entire interior of the pan. The box we used is Giardelli Triple Chocolate Brownie Mix, and we double batched the ombre cake recipe off the back. Your usual suspects are going to be here. Oil, water, eggs. Mix them all together and you move on. You'll notice we only filled two cake pans, but we started with three. One of them was for dishwashing practice, you need to keep your skills up. Now go ahead and grab both of them and banish them to the oven for as long as the box tells you to. And it's pudding time. You're gonna follow the instructions on the box to the letter and you're gonna like it. You don't want milk soup and you don't want milk bondo, so just read it. In all, this step will take about 10 minutes unless you two can make two puddings at once. Each box called to have the pudding stirred for 5 minutes straight. I'm here to tell you, that boy stirred for 10 minutes on this day. This is where the fun truly begins with this recipe. Growing up, my mother always put crushed Heath bars on top. And those are good, those are fun. But what about crushed Oreos? And what if we introduced the handy dandy kitchen hammer? We learned a valuable lesson here. There's enough room in one Cool Whip container for exactly as much Cool Whip as is already occupying it, and nothing more. Get a bowl, be better than us, and fold your Oreos in. For the second variation, we're going to need to pulverize Nutty Buddies and introduce a bowl of peanut butter to Chef Mike. This time we're going to use a proper folding method for incorporating the peanut butter into the Cool Whip. And that's really all there is to this recipe. You make a cake and ruin it, you make some pudding, and you find a way to increase the sugar content of Cool Whip. The only thing left to do now is sit back and enjoy this installment of Kenny's Assemble, presented by Brian Michael Cooks. For this peanut butter boy, he's starting with a layer of cake, dropping some hot peanut butter over the top, scooping in some chocolate pudding, adding a fluffy layer of peanut butter Cool Whip, and repeating the steps. Cake, nut butter, pudding, cool whip. And finishing it off with crushed nutty buddies. Up next is my favorite variation. Started with a monstrous dollop of Oreo pudding. layer of cake, and then the Oreo Cool Whip. We pop the lids on all of them, stack them for a photo op, and then toss them into the fridge while we assemble the rest. We'll have the full recipe up on our website, link in the description. If you're into what we're doing here, like, subscribe, comment, and share with your friends, it really does help us out. And we'll catch you next time.